What's going on guys? Steve Briggs, Anarchy Audio Works. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since I've done a video, but I am back. And we have a new series where we're going to be looking through all the new free VST plugins, all of the latest plugin deals, and there might be some production tips and tricks here and there as well. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Right, hats off. Let's get down to business. Plugin number one. I don't know if you're familiar with the Roland Cloud subscription that they've had going for a little while where they've emulated all their old hardware and stuff like that. Really good. But uh, recently they've just discontinued Concerto, which is 25 of their plugins. Um, it's, it's a lot of stuff going on here. It's like 40 gigabytes worth of stuff. A uh, load of 80s synth wavy sounding stuff, all the stuff from the 90s. It's just insane. I've downloaded like five of them so far, so we can have a little look. Voice pad's really nice. These libraries are just loaded with sounds like these, so you'd have to spend some time and go through them, because as I say, there's like 40 gigabytes worth of stuff in here. It should definitely keep you going for a while. But on to the next. The next up, we've got a plugin called Explorer from Fabric 70s. Really nice sounding pads and stuff in here. Beautiful. Really rich sounding stuff coming out of this one. Yeah, go check it out. Plugin number three, we have Sign from Orchestral Tools. We got everything from pianos, percussions, horns, big band, brass stuff. Really nice, well recorded sounds. Let's try out the grand piano. Very nice. All right, this one is the Spindle Felt Piano. A lot softer than the Grand Piano, really nice. Next up's the Helix Library, which is a free string ensemble. Yeah, really nice sounding stuff in this one. There's all kinds of other things, but I'm not going to go through everything. There's flutes, there's ukuleles, there's horns, there's other percussion. Go and check them all out. Next. Right, I've lost count now. Plugin number four, five, ten, twelve, whatever. Well, I'm pretty excited about this one. I've been using this for a very long time. Novation are giving away Base Station and V Station 100% free now. They're in the pretty old plugins, but they still stand up in a mix now. I still use them all the time. Definitely worth getting both now that they're free because there's some really nice sounds in there. Yeah, some really nice sounds in both of those. Bass station, V station, go get them. 
Next plugin that I absolutely love, this is the Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra. They're actually giving this away for 100% free now. Before they were giving it away, but you had to like sign up and then wait 30 days and then they'd send it, yeah, but now you can just get it instantly. Really nice sounds, again, really nicely recorded. Spitfire Audio are known for really premium libraries. So to get something like this for free is absolutely amazing. Loads of presets in here for every part of the orchestra and there's different articulations for each one as well. So you got your long sustained notes, spiccato notes, everything else. You got your expression controls and dynamics controls over here, which is really nice as well. Really slick interface. Let's take a listen. Quality stuff as always from Spitfire Audio. That's the BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin. Go get it. And next up, we've got a big one from Native Instruments. It's not exactly new, it's definitely worth getting. This is Complete Start from Native Instruments, which is a collection of 16 pro-grade synths and sampled instruments, a load of effects, a load of loops, 2000 studio quality sounds for free. I'll show you some of my favorite ones. Really cool sounds. And aside from that as well, there's loads of effects, there's loads of samples, there's a bunch of other stuff. So complete start, go get it. All right, there's a few free instruments that should keep you busy for a bit. Now onto some free effects plugins. All right, first up from a company called Aurora, we've got a plugin called Goblin. Now this is made for guitar, it's like a distortion plugin, but it sounds really nice on synths and stuff as well. Let's show you without the plugin on the guitar. With Goblin engaged. Really nice. Let's try it on a synth as well. This is the synth dry without any plug-in. Now we've Goblin. Next up, we've got another plugin from Fabric 70s who made the Explorer instrument that we looked at earlier. This is more of a bit crusher, distortion, kind of saturation plugin. Let's take a listen. Really nice bit crusher there. Let's try the saturation, distortion. It does boost the volume quite a lot though, as you notice, but it's got a really nice warm tone to it. Liking that one, liking it. Next up, we've got Filter Jam from Audio Thing. This is a resonant filter with some pretty twisted presets. Let's engage the plugin and turn up the mix. You 
get some nice different sounding movement going on in your tracks there. Definitely worth taking a look. That's Filter Jam from Audio Thing. Right, the next one is Ambience Enhancer. I thought I'd installed it, but I haven't, but I'll show it you anyway, and you can go and grab it and check it out yourself. It's free. It's basically an ambience reverb kind of plugin that adds some really nice ambience to your sounds, funnily enough. But yeah, go check it out anyway. I heard some demos of it earlier and I was impressed, so yeah, check that one out as well. So next we've got Soft Limit by Apogee, which is a tape saturation, tube emulation, warm up your sounds kind of deal. Really nice warm tape sound going on there. I'm going to be using this one a lot now. By the way, all of these synth loops that I'm using to demo the plugins, these are all sounds taken from my modern hypnotic techno sample library. I'll put the link in the description for that as well if you want to check it out. Three honourable mentions now because they're not entirely new again, but I do love the Valhalla stuff. Super massive, brilliant reverb, really, really nice. <laughs> love the tone of this reverb this is the one that i use all the time space is the place this just makes everything sound massive awesome reverb plugin if you haven't got that go and get it also from valhalla we got the freak echo Not to forget the Valhalla Space Modulator as well. Right, so let's get onto the latest plugin deals. Loads of sales going on at the moment. First one that I've picked out is the Lindau Audio 50 series. It's an all in one mastering channel strip kind of deal. If it's anything like the other plugins that they do, I've got about eight or nine of their plugins now and they're all absolute top quality. So this one is supposed to be $349 and it's now $30. So that's definitely worth getting. Next up over at Plugin Boutique, Archuria have got a sale on Pigments 3. This has got to be my favourite soft synth that's out there at the moment, right up there next to Serum, because Serum's badass as well. But Pigments 3, you can get some serious movement in your tracks. Everything just evolves really nicely with the audio LFOs and all the modulation and everything that's on all the sounds. You get loads of control over your sound. Really nice. Go and check it out. It's only £83 at the moment instead of £167. While we're on the subject of amazing plugin deals, here's a quick word from our mate Scully. Are your vocals sounding dead? Well, fix it with Vocalator Pro, the ultimate vocal production suite. Save your songs from the hard drive graveyard. With Vocalator Pro's library of one-click radio-ready presets, you have everything you need to put life back into your vocals. No more bare-bones sounding recordings. No more verses buried in the mix. Resurrect your... Good Lord, enough with the dead jokes. Just let them hear it. Results speak for themselves. We've worked the magic for you, so why work your fingers to the bone? Who wrote this script? Enough rattling. Visit anarchyaudioworks.com and get Vocalator Pro today. Your life may depend on it. Nice one, Scully. I couldn't have put it better myself. 
Vocalator Pro is our flagship 19-in-1 vocal processor. If you're doing anything with vocals in your production, this is a no-brainer. Intuitive interface, everything you need is right there. One-click radio-ready presets. What I mean by that is you literally only have to click once and you will have a professional radio-ready sounding vocal. Don't believe me? I'm going to show you a little bit through it now. So I've got a dry vocal stem here, which was performed by our vocalist Matt. This is a track taken from our recent album. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. As you can see already from the waveform, the dry vocal weather performance is really nice. As soon as you put that in a mix, the volume's going up and down, up and down. It doesn't sound professional at all. Let's have a quick listen to the vocal on its own. Abandoned here without you, torn apart inside, overwhelmed and can't move as I'm left behind. So let's put that over the mix and you'll see what I mean with the volumes going up and down. This is where Vocalator Pro comes in seriously handy. Everything's all in one interface, so you don't need 19 plugins in a chain anymore to get a nice sounding vocal. There's EQs, there's compressors, there's DSs, there's limiters, slap delay, long delays, reverbs, chorus, stereo with saturation, noise gates. We've even got some LFO, we've got some LFO modulation, we've got volume ducking, which is a kind of mock side chain kind of thing, ring modulation, a post EQ for right on the end, and you can resize the interface as well. But if we go to the preset browser right now, it's on the initialized preset at the moment, so it's not affecting the signal yet. But let's go through the presets while it's playing and just pick one and you'll see the difference instantly with just one click. That's an insane difference. Let's hear it again. Instant professional vocals, everything you need, all in one box. That's Vocalator Pro. Go grab it now while it's on sale. It won't be on for long. Next up, we've got Sublab XL from Future Audio Workshop. This is only $39.95 at the moment instead of $66.95. If you like big sub basses and big heavy bass, this is definitely worth a look. Links in the description. Go and check it out. Now, this is a really cool one, Smart Comp 2 by Sonable. I did a video before on Smart Comp 1, if you want to go and check that out. This one, they've had a massive upgrade on the interface, really nice now, and they've knocked the price down to £75 instead of £108. Go and check this one out if you haven't seen Smart Comp already. It's basically an AI algorithm that they've got built into the plugin, which analyzes your signal and works out the nicest amount of compression. Great tool to teach yourself how compression works and how to get a nice starting point for each sound. Go check it. Another sale at Plugin Boutique, up to 92% off these ones. These are the Solid State Logic SSL plugins. It's always been top quality stuff from these guys, and these prices are just ridiculous, so definitely go and get them. And last on today's list, but by no means least, we've got DS Audio's Thorn VST. This is spectral software synthesizer. Some really nice modern sounds in there, very versatile. Definitely worth checking out if you want some new fresh sounds. And I love the look of the interface as well, that is really cool looking. Okay, before we wrap up today's video, I've got a couple of bonus production tips for you. This one is called the Top Down Mixing Technique. I learned this one a while back from a video by Adam Nolly Get Good. He's a great mix engineer, great producer, great musician. It makes a lot of sense and I've been using it ever since. It's basically putting your mastering chain on while you're producing and mixing into your mastering chain. The reason why you'd want to do that is sometimes you could be working on your track and your drums might sound a little bit thin or your bass might sound a bit thin. Nothing's really gelling together, so you end up layering more sounds, wasting time, layering more layers. A lot of times, all it needs is the mastering, compression, and other processing to glue it all together and give it some extra weight to the mix. So by having the mastering chain on there, there's a lot less moves to make while you're doing your mix. I'll show you what I mean. This is the track with the mastering chain on. You see, when you turn it off, everything starts to sound a lot thinner. I mean, even if you're going to be sending your track out to an external mastering engineer, it's nice to have a little chain on there just so you can see how it will kind of sound at the end. There you go, there's tip number one. Tip number two, this is a good one for getting a bit more impact when your track drops back in after the breakdown. Now you can use any kind of utility plugin with a volume control or a gain control on it and you want to put that on your master channel after your mastering chain. What we're going to be doing is drawing in some automation which is gradually going to lower the volume throughout the breakdown and then drop back in at full volume on the drop giving the sense of a bigger impact. 
Now, you don't want to go too crazy with this and have it actually noticeable to the listener that it's getting quieter. You just want it to subtly drop in volume so when it comes back in, you get more impact. I'm dropping the volume on this track down to just minus 1.3 decibels, which isn't even noticeable if you just listen to it. You won't tell that it's getting quieter and quieter, but when it comes back in, you get that subtle jump in volume, which gives it more of a punch. The way that I'd do this, if I just took it out, basically just putting a point there, putting a point there, putting a point there, drop it down wherever you want it you can go in in Ableton edit the value as well but just experiment with that yourself and find a sweet spot that works for the track that you're working on at the time there you go tip number two that just about wraps it up for today's video I'll put links to all of the plugins and the deals that we've looked at today down in the description a lot of them are time sensitive so don't sleep on these guys go grab them I'll be back this time next month with a load more free plugins and a load more deals for you but until then thanks for watching please drop us a like if this video has helped you out anyway and consider subscribing to the channel it really helps us out Till next time, see you later. So what are you waiting for? Check out anarchyaudioworks.com for their brand new selection of plugins and so much more besides Anarchy Audio Works.